What's up YouTube? So here we go another day. So right now I am going to test the time lapse capability of the Maverick Air. We are going to go out and we are going to go and test a static time lapse looking straight down at an intersection. So we are going to try this with photo, taking interval photos and we are also going to try it with a, with a movie. And let's see which one turns out for the best. So let's go. Okay, so we currently have the drone 75 meters high. Uh, we're taking pictures every two seconds, strong winds, we're going to let this go for a couple of minutes, then we're going to switch to a video. Uh, we have it in tripod mode. It's looking pretty stationary. I mean, that is strong wind out there. And it looks like... Looks like it's not moving, which is crazy. 75 meters high, really strong winds, so let's see how it looks. Okay, so we're going to stop that now. Might not be too long footage when we put it into time lapse, but that doesn't matter. Let's see if we can stop it there. We're going to switch it over to video. Okay, and we're going to start recording. So let's start recording. What time is it? I don't know what time it is, but we're starting to record. We'll leave this go for a few minutes and then we'll bring it down safely. Okay, so three minutes thirty. Let's return to home. Okay, YouTubes. So here we are back in the studio after our time lapse testing. First of all, I'm, I've already imported all my footage so these ones here are the images so we're going to select all these images goes down to oh, let me see okay 96 is a movie so it went down to 95 so this is all my images I'm going to press E to put them into the timeline and let's make it 4K so automatically images go in as 10 second clips so we're going to select them and go to our retime editor and we're going to change it to one frame so one frame per image which would mean 24 photographs would be one second so let's see what this looks at looks like now you can see they're super small and we can play that And that doesn't look too bad. Right now we're not looking at the the shakiness. We're going to fix that soon. So we could try this two frames a second if you wanted it a little bit slower, a little bit more stop motion. I actually like the look of that. So let's keep it like that. That's all we do here. Now we're going to export this. So time lapse photo export and we will wait for that to export and then we will re-import that movie so we can stabilize it okay so that is finished finished exporting so now we no longer need these images on our timeline so we can delete those And let's change this. We don't need this proxy, I don't believe. So let's put this into our timeline. And now we need to stabilize this. So we're going to go over to select the whole clip, go over to stabilization, wait for it to do its analyzing. Okay, so now the stabilization has analyzed, so we are going to change over to inertia cam and make sure tripod mode is checked. <coughs> and then we should see pretty much so that's quite good. You will see it starts creeping in 
where the drone went off a little bit so we're going to put a, a zoom let's do a zoom on this starting from here let's put a keyframe for the position rotation and position starting from here and by the time it gets to here Go to here. I believe we wanted to get this to about 125 percent. And there you go. So this is with photographs. Framing is not very good, but let's just give you an idea of the how it looks. Okay, so uh, we are now going to do the the movie. So here I have the movie, let's import that into the timeline and we can crop it okay, We're just going to crop it right there and I've already done a test with this so the best setting I found is if I speed it up 3000%. And now we are going to export. We're going to export this one without doing a stabilization because I did try this earlier and when I stabilized it like this it didn't stabilize it very well so let's export this and same as with the photo we'll re-import it, stabilize it and export again so okay that was fast. Uh, hill climb, great time waster. Okay so we can now, let's show this. And we will import this movie 3000. We can delete this, bring in the movie 3000 to the timeline. Oops. And now we will stabilize this clip. Same method as the photo with inertia cam. And tripod mode. Okay, so I will now put them both side by side, and you guys can uh, take a look, see which one you think is is the best. Now I probably will go out again today. the The framing wasn't very good. I do need to go higher and look straight down more. So I'll probably do another one today, but it gives you a quicker, uh, a good idea of which one looks the best. Okay, see you around, guys.